I'm Kaylee and today we're doing another random bookshelf tour and today the color is blue. Quite a while ago I did a random bookshelf tour and showed you all of my green books. So today the random bookshelf tour is to show all of the blue books, at least books that have blue on the spine. Before we get started, we're gonna do our booktuber shout out and we'll shout out somebody randomly. Today's shout out goes to LB, the lover of books. I will leave a link to their channel in the description. Be sure to go over and subscribe to them. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you love the color blue. And be sure to follow me over on Goodreads and Storygraph and Instagram and all the places. So let's dive right in and get started and look at some books that are blue. We're gonna start right here where I usually film. Our first blue book is Falling Apart, poor thing. It's Hans Brinker or The Silver Skates. This is a really old beat up edition, but it's so pretty. This edition is from 1907. It's completely falling apart, it's so delicate. Then with a dark blue spine, we have Mother Carrie's Chickens by Kate Douglas Wiggin. This edition is from 1930. Then we have Arsene Lupin, Gentleman Thief by Maurice LeBlanc. Captain's Courageous by Rudyard Kipling. The Poems of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. The Golden Key by George MacDonald. And Children of the New Forest by Captain Frederick Marriott. Mr. Midshipman Easy, another one by Captain Frederick Marriott. I really love this. I really, really love this author. And Fantasties by George MacDonald. A Table Near the Band by A. A. Milne. And yes, this is the author of Winnie the Pooh. Julius Caesar by Shakespeare. Troilus and Cressida, and Merchant of Venice. Shakespeare A to Z, His Life and Works. This one is kind of a bluish gray, but it's Ivanhoe by Sir Walter Scott. And the Talisman by Sir Walter Scott. Rob Roy by Sir Walter Scott. I love Scott, what can I say? <laughs> At the bottom of this bookshelf are a bunch of my music books. And so I'm just gonna include the Living Hymns book <laughs> as part of my blue books. This was basically my college textbook for my music hymn keyboarding classes. When I got my degree in music education, this was one of my classes. <laughs> the Confessions of St. Augustine. This one is so fancy. Adam Bede by George Eliot and the History of Henry Esmond by Thackeray. The Spoils of Poynton by Henry James, which I have never read. And The Reign of Tiberius, which I have also never read. Our Mutual Friend by Charles Dickens, Dombey and Son, Las Memorias de Sherlock Holmes. This is the memoirs of Sherlock Holmes in Spanish. The Forsyth Saga by John Galsworthy. This is one that's been on my TBR for a while. I really wanna read this, but I've never read it yet. Cheaper by the Dozen by Gilbreth and Carrie. This is one of my favorites. This is just so fun. <laughs> Just look at that. It's so adorable. I love Cheaper by the Dozen. It's so cute. The Vicar of Wakefield by Oliver Goldsmith. Short Stories by O. Henry. Jude the Obscure by Thomas Hardy. Prisoner of Zenda and the sequel, Rupert of Hensau. Raffles the Amateur Cracksman by E. W. Hornung. The Complete Illustrated Stories of Hans Christian Andersen. The Water Babies and Peter Pan. Aladdin and Other Tales from the Arabian Nights. The Princess and the Goblin by George MacDonald. Another one that's kind of a grayish blue is Moods by Louisa May Alcott. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. The Three Hostages by John Buchan. The Portable Coleridge. This is the Penguin Viking Library, I think. Chesterton's The Man Who Was Thursday. The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. The Children of Odin. And Charles Dickens' Martin Chuzzlewit. And now we're here in the entryway shelves that my brother made for me. In my box set, we have Emma by Jane Austen and another blue one, Mansfield Park and Sense and Sensibility. Those are all blue in this lovely boxed set. The Poems of John Donne 
and Young Bess by Margaret Irwin. Legendary Welsh tales, beautifully illustrated as well. Lord Hornblower by C.S. Forrester. Steel of the Royal Mounted. I've never read this one. It's by James Oliver Curwood. A bunch of Grace Livingston Hill books. We have The Search, Low Michael, Spice Box, Mystery Flower, and Head of the House. Pollyanna's Castle in Mexico. I bet you didn't know that there's a whole series of Pollyanna books. Handle at the Court of Kings. Here's another Grace Livingston Hill, Not Under the Law. The Trumpeter Swan by Temple Bailey. Corneli, Her Childhood by Johanna Spivey. This is the same author who wrote Heidi. The Dark Frigate by Charles Boardman Hawes. Scottish novels by Robert Louis Stevenson. This includes Kidnapped, Catriona, The Master of Belantre, and Heir of Hermiston. Ben-Hur by Lou Wallace. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. He Knew He Was Right by Anthony Trollope. The Lion and the Mouse by Charles Klein. The Master Violin by Myrtle Reed. I have not read this one yet, but I really want to. Folk Tales from the Irish Countryside and Irish Hero Tales. Commodore Hornblower by C.S. Forrester. The Song of Roland. Grey Seas Under by Farley Moat. Moat? Moat? I don't know how to say that author's name. The Spy Who Came In From the Cold. And George Orwell's 1984. And now these shelves in my bedroom. Way at the tippity top, there is a set of Little House on the Prairie. And I'm not going to take it down because I can't even reach up there. <laughs> Here you go. I'll give you a view. Little House on the Prairie. Those are my favorites. <laughs> I had those when I was a kid. Oh, hang on. There's another one up there. So there's Rose in Bloom right there. <laughs> That's by Louisa May Alcott. That's another one that I had when I was a kid. Dido and Pa by Joan Aiken and Cold Shoulder Road and Cuckoo Tree and The Shadow Guests and The Cockatrice Boys all by Joan Aiken. Mr. Popper's Penguins. Adorable. <laughs> the Search for the Shadow Key by Wayne Thomas Batson. This is the second book in the Dream Treaders trilogy. The Door Within, one of my very favorite Christian fantasy series. Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. Shield of Stars by Hilary Bell. The Penderwicks on Gardam Street. This is by Jean Birdsall. And the Penderwicks and the Penderwicks at Last. The Spiderwick Chronicles, book one is The Field Guide. The Famous Five on a Treasure Island. This is by Enid Blyton. The Twenty-One Balloons, The River at Green No and A Stranger at Green No, both with lovely blue spines. Premeditated Myrtle and Myrtle Means and Opportunity, both books in the Myrtle Hardcastle series by Elizabeth C. Bunce. Caddy Woodlawn by Carol Ryrie Brink. This is a very well-loved copy from my childhood. It's all falling apart. Artemis Fowl, The Eternity Code, Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins, Oversee Under Stone and The Grey King by Susan Cooper. These are both from the Dark is Rising series. The Bog Art, also by Susan Cooper. The Witches by Roald Dahl. It has the title in blue. George's Marvelous Medicine, The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar, and Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, all with blue spines from Roald Dahl. The Wizard's Dilemma from Diane Duane's Young Wizard series. Magic by the Lake by Edward Eager. Tuesdays at the Castle by Jessica Day George. Saturdays at Sea, the last book in the Tuesdays at the Castle series by Jessica Day George. Princess Academy, The Forgotten Sisters by Shannon Hale. This is the third book in the Princess Academy series. River Secrets by Shannon Hale. This is the third book in the Books of Bayern. Reawakened by Colleen Hauck. Witch Witch and The Beasts of Clawstone Castle, both by Eva Ibbotson. Lord Brock Tree and The Sable Queen and Tagarung, all from the Redwall series. The Dalemark Quartet by Diana Wynne Jones. Fire and Hemlock by Diana Wynne Jones. Kiki's Delivery Service, one of my favorites. The Moon by Night and Dragons in the Waters and Many Waters, all by Madeline Langle. 
and Troubling a Star by Madeline Lengel. Pippi Longstocking by Astrid Lindgren. Wildwood Dancing by Juliette Marillier. Urchin and the Rage Tide. This is book five in the Mist Mantle Chronicles by M. I. McAllister. Rose Daughter by Robin McKinley. The Hero and the Crown by Robin McKinley. This is one of my favorites. Wildwood Imperium, the third book in the Wildwood series by Colin Malloy. Renegades and Arch Enemies and Supernova all have blue on them. These are all by Marissa Meyer. Light on C.S. Lewis. Out of the Silent Planet, the first book in the Space Trilogy by C.S. Lewis. El Príncipe Caspian. <laughs> this is Prince Caspian in Spanish. The Heart of the Chronicles of Narnia by Thomas Williams. Walking with Frodo by Sarah Arthur. Bilbo's Last Song by J.R.R. Tolkien. This one is beautifully, beautifully illustrated. The Lost Road and Other Writings by J.R.R. Tolkien. The Lays of Beleriand and The Silmarillion, both by Tolkien. And in this boxed set, The Fellowship of the Rings is blue. And the original cover for The Hobbit definitely has some blue in it. And this box set of The Lord of the Rings has some blue. Kind of basically it's just the sky, but it counts. It's blue. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And Harry Potter y el Prisionero de Azkaban. And Harry Potter y el Cáliz del Fuego. Emily Climbs by L. M. Montgomery. Rainbow Valley and Rilla of Ingleside by L. M. Montgomery. Jane of Lantern Hill and The Blue Castle, Among the Shadows, Along the Shore, At the Altar, and Magic for Marigold, all by Ellen Montgomery. In case you can't tell, I really like Ellen Montgomery. <laughs> Harding's Luck and The Would Be Goods and The Magic City, all by Edith Nesbitt. Bedknob and Broomstick by Mary Norton. The Borrowers, The Borrowers Afloat, and The Borrowers Avenged by Mary Norton. Midnight for Charlie Bone by Jenny Nimmo. Charlie Bone and the Beast. Charlie Bone and the Shadow. Charlie Bone and the Red Knight. And The Chronicles of the Red King, The Secret Kingdom, also by Jenny Nimmo. Drowned Wednesday and Lady Friday, both from the Keys to the Kingdom series by Garth Nix. Across a Star-Swept Sea by Diana Peterfriend. The Voyage of Barracks by Stuart Petrie. The Forgotten Memories of Vera Glass by Anna Priamaza. The Lightning Thief and The Titan's Curse. This is the Percy Jackson series. The Lost Hero and Son of Neptune. And The Sword of Summer from the Magnus Chase series. And the third book in Magnus Chase, The Ship of the Dead. Nine from the Nine Worlds, and The Demigod Files from Rick Riordan. Star Cross, I think this is the second book in the series by Philip Reeve. Sherlock Academy by F.C. Shaw, and The Holmes Brigade in the Sherlock Academy series. The Secret Keepers by Trenton Lee Stewart. The Mysterious Benedict Society and the Perilous Journey, and The Mysterious Benedict Society and the Riddle of Ages. The Great Mouse Detective series has... Basil of Baker Street in blue, and Basil and the Library Ghost in blue. Chester Cricket's New Home. This is a sequel to Cricket of Times Square. Miss Bianca in the Orient. This is part of the Rescuer series by Marjorie Sharp. The Velvet Room by Zilpha Keatley Snyder. Encyclopedia Brown Saves the Day, Encyclopedia Brown Boy Detective, and Encyclopedia Brown Shows the Way. I used to love Encyclopedia Brown when I was little. The Case of the Gypsy Goodbye by Nancy Springer. Star of Light and Treasures of the Snow by Patricia St. John. Theater Shoes by Noel Stratfield. The New Policeman by Kate Thompson. Mary Poppins Opens the Door by P.L. Travers. Explorer Academy The Nebula Secret by Trudy Truitt. The Girl Who Soared Over Fairyland by Catherine M. Valenti. Dealing with Dragons and Searching for Dragons by Patricia C. Reed. And The Harp of Emoch Thistle by Patricia C. Reed. <laughs> the Murder of Roger Ackroyd, Destination Unknown, Parker Pine Investigates, Ordeal by Innocence, 
and Sad Cypress, all by Agatha Christie. Nemesis by Agatha Christie, and The Murder at Hazelmoor. Mrs. Polifax and the Hong Kong Buddha, Kaleidoscope, The Unexpected Mrs. Polifax, Mrs. Polifax on the China Station, The Amazing Mrs. Polifax, Uncertain Voyage, Mrs. Polifax Pursued, and Mrs. Polifax Innocent Tourist, all by Dorothy Gilman. Suddenly at His Residence by Christiana Brand, The Book of Hours by Davis Bunn, Five Red Herrings by Dorothy Sayers, and Lord Peter Views the Body, Jane and the Wandering Eye by Stephanie Barron, Aunt Dimity's Good Deed, and Aunt Dimity and the Duke by Nancy Atherton, Through the Wall, The Chinese Shawl, and Dead or Alive by Patricia Wentworth. Bartlett's Familiar Quotations. You gotta have your Bartlett's on hand to help you look up famous quotes. Waking the Dead by John Eldridge. If You Want to Write by Brenda Euland. Word Detective by Evan Morris. Captivating by John and Stacy Eldridge. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Hans Brinker, and Rip Van Winkle and Other Stories. This one has a really funny cover. <laughs> And quite fittingly, our very last book is The Blue Fairy Book, edited by Andrew Lang. And there you have it. Those are the blue books on my shelves. Please leave me a comment and let me know what are some of your favorite books that have blue on the cover. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.